in this example. Um, all you guys simply need to do for this is I will usually, yeah, I'll ask for the answer in degrees. And then this one says plus your answer in degrees. Usually, again, I round it to the, um, usually for angles, I round it to the nearest hundredth. So all you guys need to do for this example is if it's asking for in degrees, which I will clarify, um, just make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And then you're going to do second sine. So that'd be sine inverse. And you're basically just going to type that into your calculator, 0 0.362. And my answer in degrees is approximately 21.22. Yep. So if I want to do the inverse of cosecant, I do 1 divided by sine inverse, right? Because remember, the difference between these is they're reciprocals of each other, right? So you can just reciprocate, put it over one, and do the same thing, okay?